वेलकम बैक टू मेडी क्लास पेरेडोंडल पॉकेट क्लासिफिकेशन एंड कंटेंट पेरेडोंडल पॉकेट इज अ पैथोलॉजिक डीपनिंग ऑफ द जिंजावल सल्कस व्हिच अकर्स ड्यू टू द अपाइकल माइग्रेशन ऑफ द जंक्शनल एपिथेलियम द जिंजावल सल्कस इज अबाउट 2 टू 3 मिलीमीटर्स इन डेप्थ क्लिनिकली बट ड्यू टू द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द प्लाग बैक्टीरिया एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द अंडरलाइंग पेरेडोंडल टिश्यूज the depth of the gingival sulcus can increase beyond 4 mm causing the development of periodontal pocket periodontal pocket is an important clinical feature of periodontal disease it can occur due to the coronal movement of the gingival margin or apical migration of the junctional epithelium or a combination of both the processes periodontal pockets can be classified based on the relation of the base of the pocket to the crest of the remaining alveolar bone based on the number of tooth surfaces involved based on the morphology of periodontal pocket based on the nature of the soft tissue wall of the pocket and based on the disease activity depending on the relation of the base of the pocket to the crest of the remaining alveolar bone pockets can be classified as supra bony or infra bony supra bony pockets are also called as supra alveolar in supra bony pockets the base of the pocket is coronal to the level of the remaining alveolar bone In case of infra bony pockets which are also called as subcrestal or infra alveolar pockets the base of the pocket lies apical to the crest of the alveolar bone so in infra bony pockets the lateral wall of pocket lies between the tooth surface and the crest of the alveolar bone based on the number of tooth surfaces involved pockets can be classified as simple compound or complex a simple pocket involves only one surface of the tooth compound pocket can involve more than two surfaces of the tooth In this image, you can see that the buccal surface as well as the mesial surface is involved. So, two surface or more than two surface involved is called as compound pocket. In complex periodontal pocket, it begins from one surface of the tooth, twisting around the tooth surface, involving one or more tooth surfaces, and it ends mostly around the furcation areas. In these type of pockets, the base of the pocket is not in direct communication with the gingival margin. Based on the morphology of pocket. pockets can be classified as gingival periodontal or combined a gingival pocket is characterized by coronal advancement of the gingival margin it is not associated with underlying loss of periodontal tissues a periodontal pocket however is also called as a true pocket a periodontal pocket is associated with loss of underlying periodontal structures including the connective tissue fibers and apical migration of the junctional epithelium a combined pocket is a combination of overgrowth of gingiva in a coronal direction as well as destruction or loss of the underlying connective tissue attachment leading to deepened gingival sulcus based on the nature of the soft tissue wall of the pocket they can either be classified as edematous or fibrous an edematous pocket is associated with inflammatory discharge whereas a fibrous pocket is associated with a healing response with reduced bleeding on probing based on the disease activity pockets can either be classified as active involving inflammatory response and exudation or passive pockets which are more fibrous in nature since the periodontal pocket develops from the extension of the microbial products into the gingival sulcus and there is an innate and acquired immune response of the body towards these microorganisms it is important to understand the contents of periodontal pockets for prevention and treatment a periodontal pocket involves debris which involves microorganisms and the products mainly the enzymes endotoxins from the bacterial cell wall and metabolic products it also involves gingival cervical fluid which is released from the gingival connective tissue food remnants salivary mucins desquamated epithelial cells leukocytes and plaque which covers the subgingival calculus purulent discharge can be seen from the periodontal pockets it is associated with living degenerated or necrotic leukocytes living and dead bacteria serum and fibrin in scanty amounts so what is the significance of purulent discharge from the pocket it can be a common feature of the periodontal disease it is not a primary sign it is only a secondary sign it reflects the inflammatory changes in the pocket wall however it does not indicate pocket depth or severity of the periodontal disease so to summarize periodontal pocket is a pathologic deepening of the gingival sulcus it can either be supra bony or infra bony it can be simple compound or complex it can be gingival periodontal or a combination of both it can be edematous or fibrotic or it can be active or passive
The contents of periodontal pocket involves microorganisms and their products, food debris, leukocytes, B squamated epithelial cells, gingiva cravicular fluid, and salivary mucin. You can find a link to the Google form in the description that contains MCQs related to the topic. You can attempt those and try to find out how much you learned about the topic. So thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for update on new videos. So see you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.